What is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the Loud and Proud YouTube channel. Welcome back to another reminder that you can enter to win this OBS 7.3 power truck with $5,000 in cash. We'll show you that truck a little bit more if you haven't seen the website or the ads or any of our partners posting about it yet. It's pretty freaking sweet. Thing is freaking gorgeous. No, those are not oil drips from this truck. And then for nasty red, as it's tucked in here, nothing's touching, but it's close. It's trying to keep all of our equipment indoors. We should have a winner for this truck in less than two weeks. So just keep your keep your eyes out for Instagram and stuff like that. And do not engage with any conversations on Instagram with people saying you won the truck with a fake account that looks like ours because anybody messaging you saying, oh, you won this truck plus this, you gotta fill out this information. It's a scam and don't contact or communicate with them at all. Just report them and delete them. But 30 times entries are live for launch week for this thing right here. So do not miss out on your chance to get 30 times entries. Dual entry was from June 21st to the 25th, which was simply a period of time where this giveaway and that one overlapped for five total days. And anybody who entered during that time was entered for that giveaway right before it ended on June 25th. And this giveaway, which ends on July 30th, that was simply a time window where they overlapped and you had an opportunity to enter for two giveaways at the exact same time. However, this giveaway is live right now and it does run until July 30th, like I said. And so if you wanna get entered to win this thing, you still have until then 30 times live, which is our highest entry multiplier of the entire giveaway. I did just have Ty out here and he helped me de-grampify my half ton Dodge here. There's actually a guy here too doing our insurance work for the house because we got hit with a tornado. He's got a freaking sweet, <laughs> he got a sweet half ton. It's super nice. He's like, I feel so bad driving this thing in the rain today. He apparently has another truck that he drives for, you know, when the weather's not perfect. And then normally he said he doesn't drive that one. And it's, I mean, it's, it's super nice. But the reason I took this off is we're actually going to be putting on a, not a bed cap. The bed cap is right here though. And I got the clamp sitting on a little little mat here and uh got the bed cap i do love the bed cap for being able to put a lot of stuff in the back of that truck the deer season the hunting gear and all that crap but when it comes to just summer driving or early in the deer season when it's so warmer out we're not packing as much clothing or doing any kind of like traveling like we do later in the gun season i do kind of like the idea of just having a tonic cover now a tonic cover will also be nice because previously i liked the bed cap also because of the fact that i did not have a ton of cover so that thing only being 200 bucks on facebook marketplace i'm like it's the best of both worlds i still have the bed covered kind of like having a ton of cover but i can fit a lot more stuff in there when that time of year comes around i do like the idea of having a ton of cover for the nicer weather months because i don't necessarily need the whole cap the only thing i keep in here on an everyday basis is my basic supply kit for replacing a brake line or coolant or stop leak or anything oil brake fluid anything that i might need for a hazardous experience on the road which i've never had to do with this truck other than one time and it wasn't even on the road i was stopped at a family friend's house and then had some issues when i pulled in the drive but that's why i have all that in here just in case i need it and i have had to use it before so it doesn't hurt to just keep it in the bed of the truck because it's pretty much just everything i would need in case this truck has your typical you know random issues that you could have during everyday use and it's mostly in case i take it on a longer trip you know one hour plus and uh i don't have anything in my truck right now i don't have to remember to put anything in my truck i just know in the back i've got all the basic tools and fluids and stuff that i might need in case i have any kind of your typical issues you can have with an older truck going down the road so we're going to open up the tonic ever it's actually a christmas gift that i had and uh, we're going to open it up, get to unboxing it and getting it on this truck. And I'm really excited to see this thing with a bed cover because ever since I got this truck, I've wanted to put one on and I finally got one. I'm ready to put this thing on here and see how it looks. I have a feeling though, which could be bad. I might end up liking it so much that I don't put the bed cap back on. But this thing was so cheap and in such good condition. It was a Swiss cap for 200 bucks. I'm like, man... I couldn't go wrong buying it because I know for a fact I can at least get my money back if I had to dump it. And it's in great shape. It matches the truck and it's just, it's perfect for when I really need to pack gear in there for those longer trips or if it's me and the wife or me and a couple buddies and we need more room, it just works out nice. Now with this bed cover, it's actually super simple and I've had one of these before on a giveaway truck. And I liked it so much that I wanted it for my truck bed because it was so easy to install and it didn't have any leaks or any issues that I knew of, at least during the time that I was able to use it. It was actually on a truck that looked exactly like this that we kind of built to be like a replica version of my personal truck, like same wheels and everything. Main tonic cover roll up part that goes along the back. It's got these little, these little hooks on the corner so you can roll it up and bungee it so that your 
bed can be wide open if you want. And the thing I like about this is it's not like a trifold where you still lose like 30% of your bed if you need to stack something up above the bed sides. This actually rolls up all the way so you can actually use like 95% of your bed just fine if you don't want your bed being covered up by this. So that's kind of one of my preference points for this. And I really don't mind the soft top because yeah, I've got some like products and stuff like that, but I don't like keep my power tools or anything that's like too valuable in the bed at any time, unless it's in deer season, which again, you know, even then I might keep camo and stuff in the bed, but for the most part, I always keep my guns or bows or whatever I've got on me in the cab of the truck locked up. But that being said, this is a really nice thing. It's super simple. So there's the back part. This is all one piece with the roll up ton of cover and there's a big metal bar. And then you just take the side rails, which you can't mistake them because there's these clip mechanisms on the end that you have to keep on this end of the truck and it's right and left side specific. So you can't really screw that up. And anyway, it just pops into the end there, clips together. And then you've got these three brackets that go down each side and you got these brackets that come in separately and they go down and they hook up under the lip of the bedside and then they will simply go on like so. And then you will run a bolt through the top and it'll thread into there and it'll just sandwich up nice and keep those bed rail sides on uh, very tight and three different points of contact and that should totally do it just fine. And then after that's all said and done, you know, what I'll do before fastening those, I'll loosely put them on, but then before fastening anything down, I'm actually going to unroll that and test where it's gonna come out to on the very end, just to make sure my tailgate closes all right and it doesn't look unusual or sloppy. That way I don't have to redo everything twice. Let's get to doing that, fastening everything down and seeing the final result. So here's the test fit. And so what I'm actually gonna do it's lined up pretty nice on the back, nice and straight. The corners come in real nice. Same on the end, the corners are nicely lined up with the corner of the bed. Tailgate's closed and the weather strip seals it nicely. You can see the line down there. It seals it up nice and it doesn't look as straight as it is. Um, but if you go from the corner, the tailgate kind of a little bit has a bow out, but it kind of seems like the bed has the same thing, just a real slight bow out in the middle. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or, you know, it's just unfortunately not as straight as it's supposed to be, but you can see even if I get on this end, it looks like the same thing. But it is as perfectly straight as you can get it. And I don't have any of the clamps tightened down yet. So what I'm gonna do now that I know where I want it, I'm gonna put the clamps on the very end, tighten down on each side, and then unroll it all the way back up and clamp down the rest because the end of it, in my opinion, is one of the more important spots because that's what determines the spacing and whatnot um, for this to be able to latch down where it's supposed to and hold position. And of course, once we put the brackets down, it'll kind of sandwich this down and close those gaps. So it's not such an ugly little space there. So let's get that clamp down, unroll it, put on the other clamps and it should be good to go. So let me show you how we got this. It is all fastened so tight that when you move it, you just move the whole truck. So this thing unrolls, and I know some people are like, oh, I don't like the roll-ups because sometimes it can be hard to get the, the actual tonic cover itself to stay tight. Well, there's actually metal bars in between there, and all they do is they make sure that they fall in between that gap between the rails, and they're actually snug. And then, once you get to the end here, this is what I really like about this one. Got these grooves on the very end, which are very snug and it pops in. Sometimes you need two hands, but you take this bar, you just pull it down. That's all you do. And I just like to go down the side of my bed, just make sure the Velcro stuck down. Go down the other side, just make sure it's nice and stuck down. And that's it. Literally, like just a simple bed cover like this, does transform the look of a pickup. You can see the wide angle there, you can get a little, little better view. Like I said, it pulls this thing super snug. It's not like saggy or anything like that. I mean, it's super, super nice and snug on there. And uh, you could probably pull the Velcro a little bit tighter, like outward when you stick it down, but it's not necessary because the metal bars, like I said, they run in between. Make sure that the spacing stays pretty tight for the most part unless you're just super nitpicky. 
And then once we clamp those down, you can see there is absolutely zero gap all the way along the bedside, on either side, along the back. Those clamps really do a good job of sandwiching this on very tightly. And now you've got this bed cover that's completely snug on. And it does give that truck just a totally different look. And I really like the look of this thing too. And not to mention the visibility is going to be so much better without the cap. I don't mind the cap because it does have a lot of glass on it. So it makes it easy enough to see. But once you have that cap on there for a few weeks and this glass right here is not very clean anymore, it's just really hard to get in between and clean. And it just kind of makes it a pain. And once it's dirty, you almost can't see out of the back glass sometimes, especially because the cap's got some tint on it and the back glass had some tint on it. So it does just make it a little bit tricky, especially once the stuff gets dirty. I was also gonna mess with the headlights and possibly the bumper on this thing. I don't know what it is, but once I got this truck back from the paint body shop, I don't think the bumper was like properly aligned when it was put back on. I think it was just kind of thrown on and tightened up. So I'm actually going to loosen up the bumper bolts. I think it's mostly just the corner bolts, like the brackets on each side. I think if I loosen those just a little bit and I can kind of, you know, canter up the corner of the bumper, I think I might be able to kind of straighten it out. Worst case scenario, there's not that many bolts. But I remember even though the bumper was kind of ugly, it was very, very nicely aligned on this truck even when it was all rusty and looked like crap. The bumper was still very nicely aligned. And now you can see like the gap under the grill and the corners, it just looks a little bit off. And then even the headlights, I'm not sure why that one looks a little bit crooked. So I'm actually gonna be loosening the, the screws and bolts on that. I'm gonna see if I can square that out and just clean up the front end look to look a little bit better. Man, it, it was really hard trying to line that bumper up and I just cannot get it perfect. I mean, like when you're looking at it straight on, like it's kind of tight in the middle, but there is a pretty even gap on both sides. Um, trying to get in the center as much as I can. It like is a little gap and it's tight in the middle and then it's a little gap. I don't know if it's because that new plastic I put on top back when I got the truck done last summer, if it just doesn't fit right or what because you can see too there's more of a there's more of a little gap in the body line on the bumper over here and a little more gap over there and then it's a little more tight in the middle here also so i don't know i don't know if there's like a fitment issue with that but like the corners even i can't get them to totally line up i mean i can get them like close but that's as close as i can get it and i don't know why but I cannot seem to, just can't seem to get that to tighten up any more there. This side I got just a little bit better, but it's still just, I cannot get the, the body line to sit flush. And again, it could be because like the plastic that I put on top here, the new top pad in this plastic down low, these are brand new. The bumper's original, but the plastics are not. And so I'm guessing it's just one of those stupid things where the aftermarket plastics, they're either just not the right fitment or what, it just kind of makes the body lines look worse than they are because you can see like there's a big gap here and then it's a really small gap over here. So I don't know. The bumpers honestly probably just about perfectly lined up, but the plastics just, they're just like not the right shape or something. So it just kind of makes the, the corners of it look a little a little bit ugly i'm not a huge fan of that but i did get that headlight squared away better i don't know if you guys remember the spacing on it was kind of bad pop this rubber back there a little bit better but the spacing on the top of the headlight was like an inch gap there and like a quarter inch over there and i got it pretty well to where they look almost identical and you can see freaking fog in there now i don't know why that happened you can see the headlight flows at the body line really nice. Same with this side, flows at the body line very nicely versus before that one for whatever reason was really out of whack. And I don't know why I never fixed it when I first put them on there, but for some reason I didn't, but it's better now. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the update for the bumper and headlight realignment. And then the bed cover, you can see that really cleans the look of this truck up like crazy and you can just see how much 
how much better that freaking thing looks. It looks so much better. It makes the truck not look so grandpa-ish, you know what I mean? That's why we call them a pap cap. We're thinking of a like a pappy or a papa type of thing to do, but it does have its functionality, I'm telling you, but this is definitely a better look for me during the summer. Definitely, definitely preferable. And the reason I put the cap on was not because I like the look of it so much, but because I like the functionality of it so much. And so I think that's kind of where old guys are just kind of like misunderstood. It's not that necessarily they love the look of a cap more than without the cap. I think it's just because they get to a certain point where they go, you know what? It's not the prettiest thing, but it's functional and I can get more use out of it year round than without it. So I'm gonna keep it on. Do not forget guys, if you wanna get entered to win, our beautiful 97 Ford F-250 7.3 power stroke with a ZF5 manual transmission and $5,000 in cash. This is our highest multiplier of the entire giveaway. 30 times entries are live until Sunday, July 2nd. So hit that link, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win that truck plus $5,000 in cash. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.